In the uh, eastern Malaysian province of Sabah, a three-week standoff with a group of around 200 Filipinos has ended in a bloody shootout. We've uh, covered that story just a few minutes ago. Let's move on. There's confusion in Mexico about the fate of people who've gone missing during the country's war on drugs. There may be more than 26,000 of them, according to government figures. Uh, and uh, the government and, and people who are turning to the same government to find help uh, serving their loved ones are often frustrated. Frank Contreras reports. Maria Herrera has fallen into a deep depression. In 2008, two of her sons were taken away by Guerrero State Police officers and never seen again. She and her family began their own investigation into the disappearances. Two years after that incident came more bad news. In the Gulf Coast state of Veracruz, two more of her sons went missing. Now desperate, she has turned to Mexico's federal government for help, but has gotten nowhere. They have treated me very well, but in terms of the search for my missing sons, there is nothing. For that reason, I feel like I'm almost going crazy. I don't know what to do anymore and who to turn to. In 2011, Mexico's federal government created Pro Victima, a special institution to deal with the growing problem of disappearances. A few of the families of victims come here for legal and psychological help. A call center takes in cases around the clock. But Human Rights Watch interviewed 30 families who sought help from Pro Victima, and the vast majority of them say they were shocked by the advice they were given. The overwhelming majority of those families told Human Rights Watch that this government organization pressured them to accept that their missing loved ones are dead, even though there was absolutely no evidence to support such a conclusion. Pro Victima's legal director for cases of disappeared people says family members who seek help here receive good treatment. Moreover, she says the institute is helping create a national plan to finally standardize the way investigations are conducted. Attorney generals of all 32 states have agreed to use standardized guidelines to guarantee all people in all cases that the same steps will be taken. Critics say that should have happened years ago. Still, standardizing Mexico's investigative procedures would profoundly change this country's justice system, which often leaves many families of the disappeared frustrated and with no other choice but to continue conducting their own investigations. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Mexico City.